Of course, U.S. authorities very concerned about a potential second wave in the U.S. And tonight, all eyes also on China. Now in what's being called a wartime emergency there, a new cluster, this time in Beijing. It started at a wholesale food market. And here's Ian Panel tonight on what we know so far. Tonight, authorities in China are calling it an extremely severe situation as a new cluster of coronavirus cases is identified in Beijing, prompting fears of a second wave. Leaders there are now raising their emergency level as more than 100 new cases have been reported in the past few days, many in the capital. This after a nearly two-month victory over the virus. Authorities now reimposing restrictions on travelers in and out of Beijing. Residents told to lock down and avoid non-essential travel as schools and universities cancel plans to reopen and businesses are told to work remotely. Like the first outbreak, there are reports that these new cases are linked to an open-air food market. This one in Beijing, now the centre for dozens of new cases, has seen hundreds of thousands of visitors in the past two weeks alone. But there are still questions, as health experts are saying that this particular strain is similar to the one identified in Europe and not the initial outbreak in Wuhan. The authorities in Beijing are taking this extremely seriously. The last thing anyone in China wants right now is another Wuhan-style outbreak. David? That is for sure. Ian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.